What's going on guys? This is Bubble Knight here. Welcome to uh, the Fidelo Incident. I have no clue what the... Uh... Sorry, new game, okay? Yeah. I have no clue what this game is about, but... Um... It seems like, from the preview, it seems like a couple crashed into the mountains. And somehow, stuff happened. Hey, this is like a... I think it's pretty good. But uh, thank you guys for... Uh... Oh, she my videos. Turbulent. Why are you so nervous, love? I, I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, it, it, it's been a while since you... It's nothing. I'll be fine. Just make sure that car goes secure. Everything looks fine back here. Things are shifting a little bit. Damn it! All right, that was quite a belt. Let's uh, get our minds on something else. You ever still think about Ireland? Ah, it's 30 years since I've been there, Leonor. I don't remember anything. <laughs> don't be daft. Uh, tell me a story about uh, when you were a little boy. All right. Did I ever tell you about the time I stole a box of sweets? <laughs> no, you haven't. Uh, I was maybe seven or eight. I was at the corner store with me Dan. He gave me enough money for one box. But I thought, wouldn't it be grand to get the box for him instead? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm not so sure. I think I'd done something at the time and was trying to make up for it. But as much as I wanted to give him the sweets, I still wanted well, I can't even else. see So I bought the one wife. and pocketed the other. Oh, no. And just as soon oh, as shit, I paid the birds? him, in, I turned oh, around anyone and saw me that. If there are birds in front of you, <gasps> you should make a me. turn. Oh, no. You should stop talking and make Did a turn, right? Or did I you get bet away with go it? Down well, birds. that's the thing. He... <gasps> Shit! Oh my god! I told you! Stanley! Put your seatbelt on! The left engine's on fire! No, 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 left no, no, engine's no, no, on fire? No, no, no. Oh, shit! Oh, Christ! This isn't good! Stanley, what's happening? We're going down love, okay? I need you to Just hold on, get in the right position! Start off almost exactly like a... No! Shit! Oh, last Stanley. two! Stanley! Holy crap! <gasps> Dude! The airplane got decapitated in half! Well, that's not good. So, uh... The more the story, don't talk to your, hus don't talk to your husband when he's uh, flying an airplane. Especially the small one. What the uh. hell are they doing out here? Yes, the plane. Here's your seat! Where? Where what? Follow the trail of fire, I'll lead you to it. Oh, maybe it's probably up there. Hey, we're coming. These fires, man, they look like campsites. Oh, don't make me hunt for food. I don't have any gun or stuff. Leonor, where are you, love? Leonor is not here. She's probably burning inside. You should probably uh, run. Except I can't run. I don't know how to run. Up there. Shift. Oh, my plane. Is, that, is that a phone? Is that my phone? Oh, oh damn! Jesus Christ! That was. I, sh I thought I would surely chop my head in half. My luck. Oh, it's in coming inside the plane. Let's go get the phone then. Oh god. No. Leonor! How do you pick up the phone? D? Okay. Leonor? Stanley? Leonor, yes, it's, it's Stanley. Stanley. Are you there? I, I can hear you, love. It's, uh, I'm here. Christ, I hope you can hear me. Fucking mobile's broken. She can't hear me. I'm still in the plane. Or okay. part of the plane. My leg gets trapped. Oh Christ. I can't move. Stanley, I don't know where I am. <laughs> But I can't see you, but there's smoke. There's black smoke. And see? The, the, black Lena. smoke? You mean a dash smoke. smoke? She's still alive. Or oh, that smoke. smoke. Do what needs to be done. Wait, am I getting frostbite? That 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 I would really suck if I had to get frostbite and just die. That would really suck. Stay. Oh shit. This is oh, this is a got to stay warm. Natural geyser. Oh man. 
I don't like walking on water. It just it freaks me out. Like walking in ice specifically, because I got a fear. Like you know, you can just fall down the ice anytime. All right, better get moving. Can I jump? No, I can jump. Can I climb? At least no. That's fine. Perfectly fine. I gotta go find the next geyser. Or next fire. Oh wow. The what manifest. Is... We should what? have landed hours ago. They'll have to know we're missing. Send out a surge party. Press escape the stop one to open the pause menu, that's great. Well here are the uh, documents wherever you're with. I don't think that's important now, so. Make it to the next geyser what heat source. So cold. Too bad for you. Too bad for you. Here's a geyser. Oh the cave! Okay! See those birds are uh they're up to no good. They're trying to kill people. Look at the graphics on that. Like it's like the the rocks are turning into lava. That's too dark. If I get lost in there, I'll never get out. Okay. So next, find a freaking flashlight. other way like up there maybe follow the beacon of the light what is this what is what I was afraid of this I knew from the moment I saw Stanley clutching that tiny body in his arms that the nightmares would come back they're worse than ever I can feel Stanley's heart breaking with every shudder and breath I heard him say, don't go. Is he talking to me? I'll never leave him. What are you talking about? Use your guitar. And some cloth. If you just pick the cloth up, you can warm yourself a little bit, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> to the next fire point. I hope I'm not, I really hope I'm not walking backwards because I hate when I do that. What's all these boxes? Oh shit, getting cold. There's the black smoke. Indeed, Need to there find is. a way to that peak. Well, we'll find it. We'll keep walking. There's a settlement over here. Oh god. Shelter. Not before I check this place out. Flashlight. Oh, thank god this torch still works. So how do you I think this is where she landed. What the heck is this? <gasps> is that jellyfish? Jellyfish. Okay, let's go back to the shelter. Open up! I need to go inside. Oh, it's locked. Shit. Well. Oh, that uh, that cave. I have the flashlight, right? So at least I can go in there. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Come on, Stanley. You can run faster than that.
Okay, here we go. Now, how do you turn on the flash? Oh. You just turn the flash up by yourself. That's pretty good. I don't have to worry about seeing a no ghost anywhere, right? This could be a great horror game. As this icy stone closes in around me, I'm overwhelmed by a fear that the last 30 years together was only a dream. That I'm still trapped. Still locked away in the dark. Wait, you can't go through this As way. I cross this godforsaken island to find you, every agonizing step reminds me that the dream is over. But the pain reminds me that I'm still alive. And as long as I live, there is hope. What pain? Leonor, I will find you. I will find you. Not if Golem pops out. You can find the Lord of the Ring, you can turn invisible. And just go through places. Hey! Okay, so this place definitely someone's been here before. Maybe like homeless people. What the heck is that? Ooh, someone's watching me! Hey! What's up? It's not like they're gonna respond to me. It's not like there's a microphone over here. Wow. Stunning. It's like a cathedral. Sort of. Can I go up there? Looks like a way out. But I can't climb this ice. You can't? What's wrong with you? Uh, I hope this has a happy ending because I, I, I got another like sad endings. My poor bastard. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> Holy shit. At least I won't stay trapped in this cave. What happened to him? Okay, this is start turning out to be like a horror game or something. Someone hang the poor bastard up in this cave. You need to get out of here, man. You need to get out of here before the bookie man help get you. Uh, can I go up? Okay, I can. God. You know Laura Crab does this better than you? And you're a guy. Then again, she's also very thin. I forgive you. I don't even know. I don't even know what you look like. You could probably be a a fat dude that just you know barely had the strength to pull you. Oh, Leonor. Stanley, I can see the lockbox. It's empty. The crash it must have broke open. All the case files, all, all the information, my diary. You have to find him. No. You have to find everything. No. If anyone comes, Stanley. If anyone comes, they can't find out who we are. We're not aliens, are we? Bollocks. All this time, I've been so careful. Documents are not worth it. You guys need to get get the hell out of here. Okay, this is what exactly I'm talking about. Ice and falling waters. Ice and flowing waters. This is what I'm talking. This is what I'm afraid of. I guess I'm going down. Huh? What the fuck? Oh, what now? No, get. I can't move. What? Why? No, no, no. Oh, no. oh shit. Oh god, this is horrible. I gotta find a, a hole or something. Drowned out here. Get up. <sighs> Earthquakes now. This fucking island is trying to kill me. You think? I think I'm supposed to go over there. Alright, let's go there. We're gonna make a plunge for it. Whee! 
Okay, still. Don't break up now, please. Just don't do it. I have to get over there. I have to read what it says. Another bunker. Warning. When shivering, frostbite, confusion, hallucination, feeling burning alive, death. Well. I can't stop thinking about the dream. We were flying in the plane, but I wasn't afraid. I was giddy with excitement because we were flying back to Ireland. Stanley dove the plane so fast I could feel my stomach floating and we were laughing like we haven't laughed in ages. As we dipped out of the clouds and swooped in over the ocean, I could see the white cliffs and green hills. Stone walls and hedges divided the patchwork fields dotted with livestock. And our tray welcoming us home. Then I woke up in this hot, filthy room, dripping with sweat. Stanley's still sleeping. No nightmares, thank God. Maybe it's my turn. Stanley, use my diary to unlock your path. I, I'm gonna assume I'm going the right way. There's a little fire over there, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Shit. I'll never break through that ice. Ah, great. It's like it's teasing you. It's teasing you. Oh, there, there's a bunker over there, but locked or even buried with ice so you can't get to it. This poor guy's getting frostbite everywhere. Get up there. And we are, I guess. Let's go to the next stage without falling in, please. Look for the fire. Look for the steam. I can start talking like a actually English illiterate. Okay, don't tell me this is gonna be a game of like document collecting. This then I'll be really, really bored. Another page from our journal. Mother's crying in the next room. She says it's because she's happy, but I don't believe her. My father is getting out of prison. My friends protest the unlawful imprisonments, but I wish they'd kept Michael O'Shea locked up forever. Life in prison isn't long enough for him. It would kill my mother if she ever read this. What if Michael ever read it? Would it kill him? Or would he kill me? Well, the violence didn't stop when he was on the inside. But at least when I read about something terrible in the paper, I knew my father wasn't the cause. But now... God help us all. So his dad is a bad dude? Welcome to Trash Collecting. Journal number three, I guess. No! God. I really should stay away from the eyes. Frostbites everywhere. Stanley took me to this lovely old tree on the cliffs overlooking the sea. It was just the perfect spot. Then I saw there were notches carved into the trunk. I pointed them out to him and asked him how many other girls had he brought here. Stanley laughed and said when he was just a lad, he and his dad would come to the same spot for picnics. And Paddy would notch the tree to show how much Stanley had grown. I turned as red as a beetroot and muttered some kind of apology. When we sat down to eat lunch, I saw another notch at the base of the tree. When I asked him what that one was for, he winked and said, Margaret Kane. Wait, what? We're not supposed to all hurt hypothermia? Shit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can do it. Shit. No! I'm definitely getting really cold. No! Fire! I didn't realize that there's not a fire over there. Dude, there's a perfect good cloth over here. You should pick that up. What's wrong with you? Well, this is gonna be like a page collecting game. I'm not very happy about. 
but it's okay. Through the power of video editing, I should cut all these out. They're nice. They're nice. I've got to be careful. The summers in Munich are beautiful. The palazzas are full of tourists, so Stanley and I blend right in. But even in the sea of anonymous faces, we have to be careful. Today, I was sitting in the park with my lunch when this young man with a big fancy camera came up to me. He was handsome and stylish, a real artsy type, and he asked if he could take some photos of me. Obviously, I had to say no. But then he said something that caught me off guard. He said that my eyes were the saddest he'd ever seen. Of course they are, I said. I'm Irish. I left everything on the bench and disappeared into the crowd. Well, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, shit. The nice, the nice, the nice, the nice, the nice, the nice. Get your ass moving. Oh. Mother begged me not to go, but I assured her it was a peaceful rally. Molly wouldn't go with me. She was afraid the army would show up. So I dragged Stanley with me. I thought for sure he'd want to be there because his father was one of the speakers. Paddy Whitaker was an electrifying presence. People were cheering and clapping as he spoke about the end to the violence, a peaceful end to the troubles. He spoke with such conviction, I nearly wept. But when I looked over at Stanley, he was wearing fucking headphones and messing with his cassette player. He said he'd heard it all before. I couldn't believe it. He has no idea how lucky he is. I have no idea who his dad is. Oh, the cave. Enter the cave of wonders. We can find nothing but uh, death awaits you. What is this? Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to find a try to find a three, three one two, three one two a zero. Okay. First the shelter, now this lock. Three. We've got to find a way through. One, two, eight. Seven. Yeah. I believe it. Those numbers from the journal. This oh. makes no sense. Oh no. I don't like this! <gasps> follow the pipe, follow the pipe, follow the pipe. Somebody was definitely here before you. I can't see better if I'm down. Freeze! I see no frost bites yet. Freeze! I need a letter. I'm coming up, Johnny! I'm coming up! Grab my hand! Alive. Apparently so. Oh, shit. You need to find, you need to find a resource. I feel like I should just run through this entire game at once because there's really not much to do in here. I'm gonna cut across this uh, cave or whatever. It's, I mean, oh, this hill. Well, apparently not. I can't go over the cave and stuff. God, to get warm. Get your ass moving! Got to get warm. Get your ass moving! Well, this valve. Maybe. Oh. That's good. Oh, thank God. Alright. Yeah. So, they're, they're probably are not geysers. They're just, um. Mim May stuff. Ow. I don't know what's wrong with that man. Stanley came into Rory's pub tonight, sweaty and out of breath. His eye was swollen, his lip was bleeding, and he looked as proud as a peacock. He and one of his no-good mates went messing into East Belfast to stir up trouble. Stanley had the brilliant idea to spray the story plow over a unionist mural, but they got caught by some locals and they got into a scrap. Rory thought that was a gas and bought Stanley a pint. I told Stanley he was an idiot. What if he'd been caught by the guard? Or the UVF, they'd have bloody killed him. But he was just too proud of himself to listen. 
Okay, so conflict with her, him and his wife. So Stanley's husband, is, I mean Stanley's, Stanley's, St Stanley's father is apparently a, a big figure or something. And but he didn't like it at all. Those damn birds. We'll grab a shotgun and shut down a few so we can have lunch. Fire! No! Come on! Oh. I don't like this, man. We haven't explored fully down there. It's not like I wanted to, it's just how, just how the game is. There is not a wheel to be turned. Oh shit. Is that a fire? No. Oh, it's a freaking letter. My face hurts from trying to smile all night. I can't blame Stanley. There's no way he could have known. He's not that cruel. He knew I was named after Beethoven's opera and just assumed that I'd be a fan. But it was my father who loved the opera. He'd blast those records into the night and stagger about with a half-empty bottle, waving it in time with the music. It was terrifying. But I love Stanley. So I gripped his hand and smiled through the entire performance. Damn, that's cold. These pipes. We must all be connected. What? What the hell happened? Wait, did I die? That's not even funny. That's not even fair. I would just stood there reading all the notes and I died. I died of frostbite. I died of frostbite. Okay, I gotta, I gotta keep moving. I really don't want to read that note again. Maybe I should follow the trail of a uh, warm leaf fire. So it leads me somewhere. Oh, I can go in. Is this another bunker? How many are there? Well, I don't know, but um, wait, bunker. Let's let's go explore the bunker first. I don't even care if I got the notes or not now. I just want to get out of here. Says. You've got to be kidding me. It's not kidding it's you. Frozen. And I'm running out of time. Time to do what? A what? What's the point of that? So we run to the next uh, steam thingy. Right here. What, woman? Stanley, are you there? Oh, it's so cold. My head's so shivering. My leg is going numb. <laughs> At least it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, no. I might fall asleep. I heard voices. Oh, shit. I don't remember what time it is. I think it'll be dark soon. But oh, I don't God. think I'll make it through the night. Stanley, you've got to stay warm. Oh, God. Hypothermia must be setting in. You think? 
you, your wife's freezing to death. Why are you just casually chilling out here like nothing is ever happening? Oh, shit. Hail. Oh, oh, oh damn. Why is it only holding Hail's over there? Strong. I can't get through. Why is it? Uh, fine. For some reason, it's only hailing over there. Oh, shit, hail. It's only hailing over there and not over here. Right? Molly and I snuck out to a party tonight. It was in full swing by the time we got there, meaning all the boys were bollocksed. Well, not all. We weren't there long when this beautiful lad hands me a beer and said his name was Colin. I was tall, with bright green eyes, and he wore neon-colored runners. I asked him if it was his party. He shook his head and said that he knew it was my party. Then he turned and waved his hand around like he was the great fucking Gatsby. And the first thing we saw was Stanley Whitaker throwing up in the kitchen sink. I laughed and said he could have his party back. And we blathered for a while and we were really getting on when Stanley Whitaker stumbled over and asked Colin if he ever wore those shoes outside. And before I could tell him to fuck off, Stanley asked Colin if he knew I was the daughter of Michael O'Shea. I felt my legs go numb. Colin couldn't get away from me fast enough. The hell's wrong with you people? So yeah, this is just gonna be another one of those games where you uh, collect documents everywhere you go trying to figure out a story. It's a walking simulator, what do you expect? What do you expect, BK? What do you expect? Let's get to the next fire source, come on, let's go. Aha! But what about down here? What about down here? Oh, that's where I came from. Nice try, buddy. You got to stay warm, she says. Barely staying warm, but um, barely staying alive either, too. I think your wife's dead. I really think so. She's she's freeze to death. It's gonna be another one of those bad ending things. All right, guys, are. Thing. Christ, I hope it's big enough to protect me. Okay, now we can go to the hill, which is only hailing over there. I figure, I think we can finish this game once. Ooh. <coughs> I wish I could see myself to see what Stanley looks like. Only got a glance of your wife. Your wife isn't very much to look at. She looks like an Eskimo. You don't, nobody freezes that fast. Especially with all these fire around, right? There you go! Umbrella! Wait, are you not just. The door. It's working. The door is working. Kiss my ass, fucking island. Yeah! Kiss my ass, fucking island! Fuck you and your snow, fuck you and your snowballs! Someone is playing a very bad trick on you. I mean, the, you can see the hail is really hitting on Stanley, but he doesn't give a shit. He's got the, the black smoke. Oh shit! Nearly there. He's got a shield on the right, protecting him to everything. I think I don't think I'm gonna get a good ending, just because I didn't explore enough to collect all the hell. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh I'm Christ! What the? Oh fuck! Help! Help me! Instead of just standing there, let it take you down, you could just run the other way. Oh no. Welcome to Silent Hill. 
Looks really bright here. I'm not ready to go go there yet, God. I'm not ready. What the crap? Hey, Daddy. Is that his daddy? Get up, Sandy. No. No. I was right there. What do you want from me? Tell what me you, what you want from me. I want you to be the game. Pull it together, Stanley. The sooner you find Leonor, the sooner you can get her off this fucking island. Just Dude. find her. Oh no. I'm 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 good. I'm telling you, man, it's already too late. If you have hypothermia everywhere you go, just by a little inch or so, your wife is gonna isn't gonna did I explore all that fully? I came all the way up here just to be trapped up here? That's what I thought. Yes, I did explore fully. I've got to cut this video. Not climb up there or anywhere. I just go there. I thought we were gonna finish the game, but then that would be too short for uh what is this game? Like ten dollars? Hey fire. I need the fire. Any notes? I will not be a prisoner's wife. I will not become like those other empty wives, like my mother. I will not be looked after or taken care of, isolated. There is no light without him. He is my heart, and I cannot live without my heart. I'll do whatever it takes to get him out. I will not be a prisoner's wife. Oh, shit. So he is a wanted man. That explained a whole lot. Maybe he's uh, Leonor. Please call. No, Let you're me not hear lost. Your voice. What is that? A back of back of shit? I don't even know why I said pepper. Hyperthermia. Ah, uh, of course. Missing the fucking handle. Shit! Frozen shut. Ah, uh, could the developers getting getting cheaper? I mean, everywhere you go, is it locked or frozen? I shot. Is it handle? Here we go. Can I take this handle? Any handle? What is this? Is that a dinosaur? It's a... Holy crap! What kind of creature is this? Oh my god! Holy shit! Is that a people's body or something? Oh, dead. Of a uh, dead body. What? Shit! What? These little fuckers can really sting. Oh, the jellyfish. Wait, how come the jellyfish is not frozen? Can the jellyfish stay alive up out this time? I think I'm supposed to find a handle or something. So many funerals today. I was with Stanley at his father's funeral. There was quite a crowd of people. I told Stanley his father would be proud of the turnout. 
but he said Patty would just want to make a speech. The police were watching the crowd, but they didn't bother anyone. They were hidden, but I spotted them straight away. I had to help Stanley write the eulogy for Patty, but when it came time to read it, he couldn't speak. He gripped the sides of the lectern so hard I feared it would splinter in his hands. Finally, Stanley said Patty was a speechmaker, but he wasn't enough like his father to do him justice. He just folded up the speech and left in silence. I still don't know what the story about. And we still need to find a handle. I'll handle it. Right I'll here. take that. Yeah, I'll take that too. Now I have to find my way back. Is this the way? Is that how British speak? Did that do anything for ya? Yes, it did. Finally, an open door. Yeah, that's what I said. Finally, and and you're you're uh. Oh, would you want to come in here? This looks like the exact place you would get murdered. I don't even know what that says. It's speaking a different language. Where are they getting all this electricity? Electricity from? More than so, like. Oh, great! More freezing water. Stop complaining. Okay, go that way. We're just gonna take a bath and take a swing, swim in here. I could very easily go up. I don't want to. All right, well, let's go up. Here. This is a maze. Come on. Oh, I think I just solved the puzzle or something. Then I'm supposed to go down. Very, very funny. No, very smart of us. Say anyways. And trespassing. What? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. There's not much shelter. This place is bloody cold. To move quickly. Oh shit. Thanks for the breakthrough thought. No, you got me interested in going back over the door. There's got to be some way out. Speaking my language. So what are we supposed to do over here? I just come all the way over here for nothing? No. All I guess say is the story better be good. Indy better be good. Cause I feel I'm just walking here forever. You gotta move quickly, man. You gotta freeze to death. Oh shit. That's a big fucking door. No kidding. Oh, 
okay. So I'm supposed to go the other way now. And there's heat. I don't even know what I'm doing. Ice now. Fuck, it's cold out here. Looks like it's been deserted for ages. What the hell was this place? Some Cold War bomb shelter? Probably. That was a crazy Nazi. Supposed to kill all of you guys? What the hell is this? A key card. Oh. Let's see if it still works. What is that? You you could start. Is that a little? Oh, that's a fire extinguisher. You can't really start a fire. Let's go back to the door. You know what's a what's I've got to get out of this place. You know what's a good thing about this, these kind of games? No, nothing ever would try to kill you or do anything else. <sighs> Stuck in the ice. Fudge. Oh no. Not. You can use it, right? Hello? Who's there? Can you help? We've been in a plane crash. My wife. Stanley. Stanley Florence. No, Joe Doe. Bob Doe. Listen to me. I'm trying to find. Stanley. Whitaker. My name is. For the son of Patty Whitaker to do something like this. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but it's like you came from a different tree altogether. What are you talking about? What are we doing here? You know exactly why you're here. I'm trying to find my wife. I've done nothing wrong. Usually I'd say that's a matter of perspective, but not in this case. Tell me where she is. I've only got one question for you, Stanley. Do you feel lucky? Why did you bomb that pub? What? What's this about? You're talking about Rory's pub? You think I That was that? 30 years ago. Your man. That wasn't me. Rory was a mate. I would never I understand. I wasn't asking whether or not you did it. Why did you bomb that pub? Where is Leonor? I think you're talking to yourself, man. Well, I can move. This guy is uh, hallucinating. Yep, he's definitely hallucinating. Don't go towards the light. Sonny, the ship ain't coming. Wasn't that an IRA poll? Bollocks. Rory wasn't political. With all those dissident Republicans who drank there? Everybody drank there. It was just a local. What about your father? Did Patty Whitaker drink at the local? No. No. Your father, the famous peace activist, wouldn't step foot inside it because it was Michael O'Shea's pub. Michael is real IRA. But then you... Go and marry his daughter. I don't want to hear this. Jesus, I can't imagine the look on your father's face when you told him. Surprised it didn't kill him on the spot. No, it was the police that killed him. Then why didn't you bomb a police pub? Help me understand. There's nothing to understand. I didn't fucking do it, right? You got the wrong fella. Did you? I'm 
feel like playing a psychological game here. Which I need to, uh... Anywhere... Anytime now, the cloud's gonna jump out and kill me. Or... I'm gonna just get out here alive. Frankly, I'm glad you chose that, Bob. Probably saved us a mess of trouble. Please. Bunch of tossers and tow rags, all of them. Just let me go. All of them criminals, except her. Please. Yona Miller was just a little girl. You're gonna pay for that. Go to him. Look around. We're already there. Dude, you're dreaming all this shit up. Hey, buddy. Nice shadow. What kind of what kind of hell is this? This one's a sad, sad shadow. This one's even more sad shadow. He's uh, even, I think he's, they're uh, about to cry. And this one's about to take a dump. Uh, this one is, you know, he's just finishing what he was business. And then there's no shadow left. And he is just wanting something to eat. He's like, what am I doing here? He's like, I'm feeling good over here. Wait, do I ever get out of this place? He's like, get, get the hell out. Get me the hell out. Second floor. Do, 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 do. I can't believe you're the one shagging Michael O'Shea's daughter. So let's see if we're out of this. What's she like, eh? I'll bet she's a wild one. What the fuck is this all about? I just might have to go pay her a visit while you're stuck in here. But she's got nothing to do with any of it. Maybe me and some of the lads. If you ever lay a fucking finger on her, you'll what? What'll you do? Blow me up too? Want to protect your little whore? Sign that statement. Oh no! So he may not have bombed the pub. He just <laughs> signs. He signed something. What the hell? What? It can't be. What? Did he sign it? What? Dear Leonor, I don't know when this letter will reach you. If it will reach you at all, I can only pray that it will. Our world is clouded by the fog of war, but in the time I spent with you, things finally became clear. For the first time, I thought I could imagine a future, a life with you. But that's all over now. Sometime very soon, I'm going to be transferred to the maze, and I know I'll never leave that prison alive. I don't know where I'll go when it's over, but I'm not afraid, because I've seen hell. This is it. And it's cold, and it's dark, and I've no way to reach you. Leonore, you are my light, but we have no future together, and I'll not have you wait for me. Forget about me. I'm already dead. What? I'm very the dream confused. is over. What the hell just happened? I don't know. Just a nightmare, right? Okay, look, he's it's camera. all over now. It's over. It's over. I don't think it's over because it's still going to be frozen out. Wait, it's not frozen anymore. How the heck did you, you got out here? Huh? It's not as cold in this part of the island. Maybe I can finally get my head on straight. What the hell? This is not Resident Evil, right? All these, uh... Margaret! Your bugs are flying everywhere! What is that? Probably poison stuff. M6. Yes. Take that, you little fuckers! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's not, uh, it's not gonna piss Margaret off. She's gonna come and 
and kill you with the ugliness. Where's Jack, anyways? That tree. It's. Everything is in place. But the air feels hollow and empty in my chest. Oh, I can hear my heart pounding in my ears. In just a few hours, life as I know it will be over. But that's only if I'm very lucky. Otherwise, my life will just be over. Okay. Monstrous. Yes, that tree's indeed monstrous. <laughs> oh, come on. Why is this locked? Because it's locked. Why is that box? We hadn't been to the ocean since spring, and it was a shock to see our tree so barren and frail. As we walked, Stanley wrapped his coat around my shoulders. It was still warm from his body, and I pulled the collar up to my nose to see if it still smelled like him. It didn't. It just smelled of dust and mothballs. Stanley said his father would bring him here and say, This is why we struggle. He thinks that now he finally understands what his father meant. But I wonder. I laid the jacket on the ground and pulled us both onto it. I just wanted to make him forget the rest of the day. I wanted to forget the rest of the world except for him. The grass was itchy and dry and the sky was as white as butcher paper. Neither of us bothered to speak another word. The cold wind would have just carried our words away. Surprise? That water looks disgusting. Let's jump in! his hand it's so black it's like it's really weird so what did that do why is he why is his hands all black and stuff oh. <sighs> at least that water isn't freezing it just fell so what the heck did that do Maybe I can turn the other valve now. That cleared him away. Wait, am I supposed to climb up the tree? We are going up on the tree. Yes, we are. We are so smart. It's not even funny. We're so smart. Could be a shortcut to the top of the mountain. Ah, uh, the bugs over there. I can go through the way. The air is heavy with the stink of rot and the Same buzzing old. of those damned insects. I don't hear it so much as feel it. I'm afraid it might drive me mad. If I'm not mad already. I think you're very pissed off. He's just you need, you're having trouble getting this to work. Jump off, Stanley! Yes, you can. There were so many people in the market. I couldn't hear myself think. I needed to get out of there. But when I asked Stanley to choose something for supper, he just replied with his usual, "Whatever you want." I wanted him to make a decision for once so I could stop thinking about absolutely everything all the time. The bags were so heavy and my hands were cramping and someone close by smelled like goat. It may have even been me. Goat. So I dropped everything and let the bags spill all over the street. I didn't care. I'm sick of the crowds and the stink of curry and I'm sick of the hate. I want to walk through green grass. I want to feel cool air on my skin. Under a sky the colour of butcher paper. Oh. They're not having a good time, that's all I know. Jesus, man. Is that what it is? So one, 
How about this? Ah, good. Those bugs are gone. What about these bugs? Wait, do I have to make it over here? Do I have to close that one and... Okay, I see what's going on. Show him. What? Come on. All right. Now the path is clear. What about that one? I'm trying to stay awake. Uh, keep my mind on. Before the plane crashed, you didn't, you didn't finish your story about the time you stole the box of sweets. But I think I know exactly how it ended. Your dad, he knew what you'd done. He just didn't know why. Still, he never asked you about it, never accused you of anything. So you never told him the truth. But it was always there, wasn't it? An abandoned space between you. Like an unfinished story. She sounds so weak. Hang on, Lena. I think she's doomed anyways. Let's just finish the story now. I couldn't go to my father for help. He's all for letting Stanley take the fall. But what? the mad bastard with me today didn't know that. So he did everything I told him, including stealing an ambulance. Molly called us about Stanley's medical transfer, which gave us a head start on the real ambulance. I looked ridiculous in the uniform, but our documents were perfect. So I kept my head up and let Stanley inspire my confidence. Even so, I nearly fainted when the guards wheeled him out on the gurney. He looked dead already. The guards loaded him on board, and I drove us away. Five minutes out, and the mad bastard dosed both the guards with anesthesia. And just like that, Stanley was free. Oh no, so they were trying to ship the bombing to Stanley, and then she freed him of um, oh, some shit. sort of drugs. That water smells. I wonder there's so many bugs. Do I need to go down? Let's go down! Yeah, it's not a good idea. Can I drown here? I'll be really useful now. A can of buck spray. <coughs> oh, Christ. I don't even want to think what's growing in there. 
Well, that's rotten. Oh, Christ. Rory hosted a wake at his pub for the victims of Wednesday. I think he was just trying to show off. He got arrested last year for Dylan, and the police broke his hand, so suddenly he's all political. Stanley and I sat in the car for a long time, watching the front door swallow all the black suits until the pub looked like it was filled with ink. Oh, no. Stanley opened the car door, but I grabbed his arm and asked him to take me to our tree. I felt a crippling anxiety that if I went into that black pub, I'd never see the sky again. Stanley didn't say a word. He just started the car and we drove away. Look at all these pipes, man. Let's see if that helps with the smell. Oh. No? Now I can see what I'm working with. Well, at least you can go inside and climb up before you go back to the tree, right? Strangely, this place isn't flooded. Why? Cling. Oh, maybe this has to close first. Oh, come on. Okay, so there we go. Supposed to go off from here, I just didn't see it. Stupid ledge. What does that do? Oh, power it up! Ah, that's right, go away, freaking box! Oh, damn. What? That's it? Is that all you got? Oh, no. oh yeah. Bastard. The tree's bleeding. Need to figure something out. The bugs are still there. We need to figure something out. The bugs still there. Ah. Uh, what's bleeding? I think I see something down there. I'm supposed to get. Oh, okay. It, ma it makes perfect sense. I'm supposed to go through the tree. I mean, the bugs and stuff. I am Ninja! Ninja Gaiden! Can't get me now. Oh, Jesus. So all you really need to get is Almost this. There, Leonor. Almost there, love. Almost there. Mother Mary, Paddy has been killed. The British papers named it the Boxing Day Raid. But it wasn't a raid. Around here they're calling it the Wren's Day Massacre. Seven people shot down on the day after Christmas. I don't know what they're meeting about and I don't want to know. They were all violent men except for Stanley's father. What? What was Paddy Whitaker doing there? And how did he hear about the meeting? What, was he trying to talk them out of whatever they were planning? I need to find Stanley. He must be going through hell. Well. I, I don't need to go back over there. Stanley's going through hell. So what the hell are you doing? 
Wait, do I still have the uh, the ice climber thingies? Yes. Come on, Stanley! You could do it! Put some muscle into it! Then again, I'm not really climbing, I'm just helping you trying to trying to give you more support. You can do it! I knew you could do it. What else we could not have gone through? Oh shit. What? What? Jesus. Jesus, what? I can do this again. Get up there. Go. You can do it. I'm like a little angel flying beside your lap. Fly beside your head and say, You can do it. You can do it, bro. I don't. Oh, fuck. Okay, I honestly don't think your wife is freezing here. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I looked. You can die now. Run. Right, I can't run. But look how beautiful this is. One step at a time. How about a couple? A couple step at a time. You can do it. You guys know what? And then a Where? big explosion. No, 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 no. Uh, she's not here. Uh, she's not. Please tell me what you want. I've done everything I could. Uh, everything. Haven't I done enough? Does just one of the engine parts. I think she's somewhere else. Don't despair, buddy. You can run, right? Okay, I can't go through there. Oh, you have to go up there. There's a stair over here. And of course, I have to go all the way around. We're almost at the end. What do you know? Ah! Someone should warn me about the lights! Oh, not one of these shit again. God, look at the stairs. You know who I am, boy. I. You're Leonor's father. Michael O'Shea. You know my name, but do you know who I am? Yeah. I know exactly who you are. Ah, oh, so bright. I'm afraid of this. Oh, man. I was there at the Ren's Den massacre when your father died. I didn't agree with the man. I thought he was naive. He called me a terrorist and a criminal, but he said it to my face. I respected him. That's why I agreed to meet with him that day. You agreed? Yeah, well, he did. Oh, God, a green light! Oh no. Open up! You think my father told the police? Is that it? I know exactly who it was. That's why I'm here. Rory Cochran is a police informant. Rory? They turned him after his arrest, dealing drugs of his own pub. No! He's a mate! There's, there's no way! Can I open to see a bright light now? No. Oh, this one. Is this some kind of joke? Oh, 
god. Ah, uh, there are many doors over here. I'm just trying to advance the story. I don't need all these doors. Oh god. What do you want from me? Leonore. I need to know if she's gonna be <sighs> with a man who can take care of his obligations. Take care of his family. I would. I will. I'm gonna give you a chance to prove it. So you tell me, are you gonna do what needs to be done? What? I don't know. You mean drink vodka in a... Uh... Fishing? God uh, help us all. It can't be. How can it Oh my god, this looks so awesome. I'm seriously, this this could be a really good game. This is Rory's birthday. I mean like uh more to the simulator, like uh actual Mister, can you find my dad? <gasps> Tell him I want to go home. His daughter. What there except there's no one here. This is mine. If you're looking for the little girl's dad, he's over there throwing darts. What is that? What's the key? Throwing darts? Okay, okay. I'll be right over. And tell her not to forget her scarf. Scarf? My... I think I'm playing through someone's memories. to forget my red scarf. I know. He always says that. I just hope he hurries. Was that it? the key right so what does it what does a key get what which way did it come from here or oh shit oh it's dirty sink oh my god no not again Christ. Ah. Uh, I have a key. So can I not do this? Fine, let's do it, okay? Jesus. Yes, you are. Just stop giving those shit. And you'll be okay. You gotta go save your wife. The steam. It's putting out the fire. We turn from Snowland into Fireland. This is great. At first I was freezing. Now I'm burning up. 
I don't know which one is worse. Uh, freezing. There. There she is. Oh, shit. All right. Leonor, I'm coming. Just hold on. It's almost over. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus. Wife still alive. Still alive. That's just great. Yep, that's just great. Faster! Why? No! You son of a bitch! Walk on the right. Walk on the why couldn't you walk on the The fire roars around me. It wants to crack me open, to burn its way inside to the deep center of my core, where I still feel frozen and cold. doesn't help you know wait wh which one is supposed to go am I supposed to go down or go go to uh go over here there's two ways to do this part oh I got a note until now I never knew how much my father hated Stanley and the man has always had his secrets, but he's never just lied to me. He tried to tell me about why Stanley was really arrested and the truth about Rory Cochrane. But I, I can't believe what he said about Stanley. I can't. All those people. Stanley would never. I got news for you, buddy. You just did. Let's go bounce your bunker. It's locked. No, it's not. Huh. Huh, well, do you know, it's not locked. We gotta clear the path. Oh. There's fire and ice and stuff and shit. I can do that too. So was there something I'm supposed to do? Oh man. He cross sections. What is this shit? Belfast is so cold, the air feels brittle in my lungs. No matter what I do, I just can't seem to get warm. The other night at Rory's pub, I asked Stanley if he'd take me someplace warm, like another country. He said that if he did, we'd never come back. But the thought of it sounded so grand. We spent the rest of the night talking about traveling to exotic lands. 
how it made people we couldn't understand and we'd eat spicy food until our faces flushed and the sweat ran down our backs. I don't think you knew how serious I was. We should leave this broken island while we still have a chance. Your wife is dying. Hope that clears the path. I hope so too. Because we're gonna be really stuck if he didn't uh if it doesn't work. For some reason I'm getting really laggy here. Come on, buddy! We can do this, buddies! We are going to make it. We are going to make it. And Leonor is dead. Ah. Uh. Leonor. Stanley. Harry. The fire. Listen to me. <laughs> I have to leave you. Wait! No! You can't! Those vents there! Please! What? If I just let the steam out, they'll keep the fire away from you. <laughs> but I can't do it from here. Not Lee! Not yet! You'll Where be is she? fine! I promise! Just climb through the hole! Please! Stay with me! Oh man. Come on, dude. You almost there. You can you can save her. Jesus Christ. I'm back to where I started. Well, at least you can go inside now, right? Maybe? You have the key card, don't you? No, now I want to cycle thing again. Oh shit. Fuck. It's burning outside. I'm freezing in here. It's so cold. Like a uh, place for hell, and there's one. What? What? Oh shit! Shit is correct. Stanley, it's working. I know you can hear me. It's working. Come back to me, Stanley. Don't leave. Don't leave me, please. Come back. Oh, no. The valve. Almost finished. It's too cold. What? Oh, come on. Did I just die? Through these heavy stone walls, I still hear your voice. Even as this coal slips like a knife into my bones, I still feel you with me. And yet, here at the end, I hardly know where to begin. The words are difficult to say, but I think it's finally time I finish my unfinished story. Through all our years together, 
You must have known what I've done. But you never asked me about it. Never accused me of anything. So I've never spoken the truth. Oh, so bright. After my father died, I wanted to lash out. And when Michael gave me a chance for revenge, I took it. But when I placed that bomb in the pub, I didn't avenge my father. I betrayed him. And it's haunted my nightmares ever since. I feel the heat of the blast. Hear the screams of the wounded. I can taste the dust and smell the blood. But all I can see is her little scarf like a crimson river flowing out of the rubble. Every night they return. Nightmares of her. I see her entering the pub, reaching up to hold her father's hand. I call out to her, don't go in. But she never hears. She always goes through that door. I didn't deserve the life you gave me. And you don't deserve the life I've given you. You rescued me from prison, but you've been paying for my sins ever since. You sacrificed everything to run with me. It's time you left my nightmares behind. Without me, you can be free. Without me, you can go home. Turn the knob. That's Leonor, it, right? You are my light. Goodbye. Wait, he just took all his, clo all his clothes and he's blind. Go just ahead, rescue one. We have one survivor. Patient is female. She's slightly hypotensive at 90 over 60. Respiratory rate is 14 and O2 stats are good in the 90s. We have mobilized her leg and started warming measures. She's pretty blue, but she's still with us. Okay, so she gets rescued. What about him? Stanley. Oh, did I not pick out all those notes? That's why I didn't get rescued. Wait, what? So I never left? I was just here the whole time? Shit. So he was just here the whole time. He's just nah. He just hallucinated the whole thing. We've been we've been playing a a hallucination. This guy and he's dead. Wow, well then, this, um... Well, it's pretty good, actually. I like it. I just kind of hope there were some, uh... Interesting actions involved. I might upload all these parts in one swoop, but I haven't decided yet. Is that it? So I guess there's no two ending or bad ending, or just all one ending. We're just playing through the guy. Journal. I guess we collected everything. That's interesting. Okay, guys. 
Thank you guys for watching this part, and I'll see you later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye!